DNA, which composes a chromosome, is a language. All right? It is uh, a language which has four letters and three letter words. So as we go along the length of a DNA strand, we could actually read this. These three letters, for example, might code for the amino acid glycine. The next three uh, nucleotides might code for the amino acid arginine, etc. So if a cell needs to know how to make collagen, in the collagen gene there is a DNA code which specifies which amino acid to put in which order. Each cluster of three nucleotides in this image means something. It's a code for a specific amino acid. The DNA stays in the nucleus of the cell. Right? It's too big to travel. Um, but it will be copied uh, into a form known as RNA. The RNA photocopy of a specific gene will then leave the nucleus and go out to the cytoplasm where a protein can be made. So the protein is made according to the specific instructions of the DNA, which has been copied into the RNA message, which goes to where the protein is made. In this animation, after proteins bind to the DNA, uh, to turn the genes on, uh, RNA molecules are copied. You see them leaving the DNA strand. So the DNA in yellow will stay in the nucleus, while RNA photocopies of individual segments leave the nucleus to go to where the protein will be manufactured. In general, then, this is the very important relationship between DNA, RNA, and protein, sometimes referred to as the central dogma. DNA stays in the nucleus, but DNA carries the instructions on how to make a protein. DNA is photocopied. Each specific gene is copied in the form of RNA. RNA then goes out to the cytoplasm where the protein is made. The proteins then run the cell.